That's the other way. That's right. Ooh. Same shot as the third. Lost it right with a wedge. So who stays in from the sand on the other side? It's a really steep bank here. Yeah, not much green to work with at all, Dom, whatsoever. Just three yards of putting green between the fringe and where the flag is located at him, but the saving grace is back into the breeze. That's an excellent bunker shot. You could actually see him leaning back on his right foot. First a little bit of emotion, though, from Oosthuizen after missing it right at the third and doing the same here. Does he want to go ahead and win this and win this well? Short in the jaws. Oof. That will burn. So Oosthuizen drops to 13 under. All of a sudden it looks uh, a little bit different at the top of the leaderboard. This is such a daunting tee shot. My goodness, the wind's pumping off the left-hand side, taking it over the corners, the bunkers, you know what. Get down. Calls to get down, as he lost it right on the wind, he has. Oh, my, is that in the deep stuff? Well, there's a red flag up there. He won't be finding that if he's deep. That is deep in there, if he is in that. Miraculous birdie on 12 yesterday. He won't be thinking about that, though. Just get it on the green, get two putts. And if you can get out of here damage free, doesn't like it going left. Yeah, it's fine there. Just pulled it away off the slope. Oh, a little upslope here, plenty of green to work with for Louis. Yeah, down the breeze as well. You can get good contact on this one, it's not too bad. Doesn't set down too much. Up and down to save your par, he'll take it, I can tell you that. Yeah, easy to do that. Just get it up in the air and the wind take it. The fingers were clicking early, but that's actually pretty good. There's Louis Scott, nice little, oh, a little bit uphill. He's gonna feel he can give this a little rattle. But I'll tell you this, this is for par. Don't give the hole away, keep it nice and firm. I'm afraid that is back-to-back -back bogeys for Louis Eustace. And from one in front, he's now one behind our new leader. Looks like he's got the same kind of weapon out, though, out with the three wood. Yeah, seems relatively happy with it. Should pitch middle of the green at least. Hopefully it's caught the far side and kicked back, which it has. That's OK. That's a good lead. We know what a fine bunker player he, he generally is. He, he, he'd be expecting this within three feet, Borgie, wouldn't he? Oh, definitely. If he's down to where this flag is as well, he's going to get a face full of sand. That wee breeze is straight back into his face here. That's better, isn't it? Who stays will get uh, things back on track with his first birdie of the day there at six. Tap in for... Ustazen. Nice birdie, but how impressive was that three from De Villiers? Wow. This is drifting right. It's in between the mounds, that's fine. Eight and nine go in the opposite direction. Here is Ustazen at the par five, up the hill. Doesn't like the strike. It's come out dead. Absolutely dead. Ton of green to work with, though. Yeah, a little 37 yarder back into the breeze for Louis. I just wonder how he's going to play this. Looks like a little loft, John. Yeah, I think he's going to go the high route there, Dom. Don't blame him. Takes that little guessing game out of it. Magic. Sublime. Over the ridge. Complete control. To tie Soderbergh and De Villiers for the lead. Yeah, we've seen him. I think we've seen him as one putt, maybe. 
He's got 102 yards to go. Now, this is awkward. The angle he's coming in from on this left-hand side, if he gets it too far left, it will kick off that ridge. That's on the left-hand side of the screen as you approach it. He's to be a bit further right and use the camber. Yeah, he doesn't want to fly either. Slightly concerned about it. That's pitched in a good spot, but didn't get the bounce. Unlucky. So both players a long way from the hole. This is just going to weave its well to the brink of the hill and just the way of the ball will filter it all the way down whole side, I would think. So two putts and run. One would be a huge bonus. Of course, it's quick. Could it? Could it? Oh, it could. Oh, it could. Now that could be the moment. One ahead. Louis Ustazen. Well, I wonder if yesterday's tee shot is in his mind. Ustazen, he's not going with the driver today. <laughs> Looks a little more fluid now than it did two hours ago. Huge bounce. That'll run out of fairway. This is the canter ball, isn't it? Mm. It's a bit harsh, that, isn't it, a miss fairway? Nah, this is awkward, though. This isn't the low you want coming into a flag like this with a breeze down. It's going to flatten the ball flight down, so he's going to be playing well left. Use the camber of the green to his advantage if he can. Holding the pose. Oh, Holding this. the pose, and that's why. Two excellent shots from the final two ball. So back over to 12 and Oosthuizen for the Eagle three. Yeah, this is that double breaker I'm talking about, a little left to right, and it's going to hit that little mound I told you that Davili's had to come over, and that will kick it from right to left, Dom. I think the read was good, just left pace. Tough double breaker that was. Yeah, tough down the hill at the end to really hit it hard enough, wasn't it? Hang in line, 299, out with three wood, giving it everything he's got. Flushed it. This should be about 20 short. Yeah. Nice, nice angle. Difficult shot, though, from there. Oh, this is 54 yards for, for Louis. Back into the breeze, and yeah, he can dominate this one. Take that ridge, that's just it. Two yards shy of this flag, out of place, send it past, zip it back. Nice lie, you can nip this one, perfect. Well, we've seen that before. Exactly as described by John Morgan there. Hit the back slope, down to the hole. It is a cast iron birdie for Louis Eustazen. And what a time to come up with a shot like that. How about his third birdie at the back nine? Who's Tayson nudges ahead of De Villiers to 17 under par. Don't forget, De Villiers still has a chance to match him there. It's an awkward pin to get close to, though. Yeah, Wally, yeah, it absolutely. really is. You don't mess with that pin. I don't think you need a pitch it short, run it over that little knuckle, like I said. But Louis here on the upslope, 163 yards to go. I'm sure the upslope is his friend here. Yeah, it was, didn't like that. He said, sort of wanted to drive it forward and get a bounce, which is hard to do off an upslope. But you have to say, after a poor tee shot, it's been incredibly lucky. I think he's just going to pitch it just beyond his marker, just right of it as well, and it just built it down. Should probably have a little bit of a double breaker once on the green as well. And isn't. <coughs> well. Just move forward a bit. We have a game on our hands. Well, he saw his playing partner's ball move a little down that left side. And it's going to be a five at the 16th for our leader. So he's still ahead, but uh, the lead is cut to one with two holes to play now. Looks like he's got the power iron now. It's just a little second guess of the wind if it's going back into his face a little bit at this angle. It's just flipping a little bit. Oh, 
I think he loves it. He must take the cable. Yeah, brilliant two shots. Groovy gang, aiming well left, going to use all the contours coming up over a ridge. Going to gather some speed. I think he's got the backstop behind it to filter it back towards the flag if he so chooses to do it. But what a luxury to have three putts, eh? There we go. But he makes the birdie, and for the first time in his career, Louis Tyson has gone back to back. Turned out to be a battle royal today for you. <laughs> yeah, I started off very poorly, and then um, Aaron's second shot uh, on 16, so I, I made it interesting, but, um, you know, I, I hit a few good shots coming in there, and um, I knew that tee shot was important. Could feel I could get it far enough down there to be able to reach the green today, and, and uh, had a good go at it. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad I held on to it. I think what's uh, what's really impressive is the fact that you finished on Monday last week, the last week's tournament. You travelled overnight, didn't sleep very much, and you came out here as fresh as a daisy. Well, I think um, Jonathan and his old crew put up a nice place for us next to the beach. It felt like a holiday week, really, and I think that helped a lot. Came back to the room, and my family is there, and, and uh, we, we had a great time this week. And. Um, I think this is the most my caddy has worked. Um, I think it's probably around 12 days straight carrying a bag. So, um, you know, uh, it, it worked out very well at the end. Tell me, uh, with two wins like this, you know, and obviously uh, quite a lot of money, do the, do the three daughters get extra Christmas presents? <laughs> well, that's, this is the first event they've actually been to where I won. So uh, all of the others, they went there last week, and this is the first one they on site when I won. Um, so uh, this is very special. What's made the difference? Suddenly come out here two weeks in a row playing unbelievable golf. Why? I have no idea. Um, you know you know golf. It's the strangest thing. I mean, uh, to be honest with you, the last five weeks I've not done a lot with golf. I, I played a few rounds and uh, got to Leopard Creek. Uh, I was working on a small little thing um, and started hitting it really good. And I know I'm putting well and um, then just carried on with that momentum. Concentrate on uh, marking your card correctly. Congratulations once again. Thank you. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.